Good morning, fellow Pokemon card trainer people. Um, now, I've recently got back into the card side of the game. I mean, I've done two other videos just unlocking a few of these packs and a few other little bits and pieces. So, um, as you can see, I've got the three artworks there of the three starter Pokemon, and I saw that these were the remaining two I needed, and they were in the local shop, so I thought I'd get them, and then just do a little video as well for the whole two subscribers I've got. <laughs> so, uh, what we'll do is we'll just start with these ones and just see what we get in here as well. Um, we have had some nice pulls so far, which is great. So let's have a little look at what we get in this one. We're going to start with the Pikachu, and let's have a look. At least then we've got all the artworks for every one. And a big surprise, you've got a Dragonite coin as well. We're going to end up with five of those, no doubt. Uh, the Pikachu art card. Okay, and we should have a Vivid Voltage and a Darkness Ablaze pack. There we go. So let's move those across. Okay, so let's start with the Vivid Voltage Pack. Let's have a little look at what we get inside. Now again, so bear with me guys, if this is your first video you're watching, um, my names are not great, my namings, but uh, so there's the code if anybody would like to use it. I don't use it myself, so feel free to pause the video and grab that for the first one that has that. Um, so my namings might be a bit off, so be warned of that. So we're going to pop four cards to the back, and let's see what we get. So we've got a Electric Energy, a Loudred there as well, a Zeb Striker, a Coating Energy. I haven't seen one of these energies before. This is all unusual to what I've seen before. Uh, Puchenia, Puchena, Puchiana, another another dog, a Charmander. I love love the artwork on that. I say some of my names are a bit odd here, guys, because again, I haven't seen most of these Pokemon all pronounced. Uh, Shatot, a Joltik as well. He's touching an electric socket there. Don't try that at home, it's not good. It's actually quite shocking, some might say. Um, a Cottony as well. A Quagsire with a little reverse hollow on there, that looks nice. And finally, a Beer supporter card. Now that looks quite a nice card. I do like the look of that. Again, apologies. I don't know if these guys are good or bad, but uh, that looks good in itself. And I love the full art side of the cards as well. So uh, we'll pop that one to one side. And then we're going to move on to the next pack, the Darkness Ablaze pack. Uh, again, I haven't seen this artwork before, but uh, let's have a little look at what we get inside. Okay, so we've got another... Code card. There we go, guys. Feel free to grab that. And moving on from there, we'll pop the four cards to the back to add a bit of suspense to the video. And we've got some a water energy. Lovely. A relicamp. Now, I've always loved this Pokemon. The whole idea of it being... Because uh, it's only been recently found in, in sort of real life as well. Being the Coalance. Okay, we've got the Zuelas. So it's Zuelas. Zue 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 Again, apologies for the names, still very new. Familiar Bell. Now, that's not a very familiar bell to me, but maybe it is to someone else. A Toxel. And I always thought these were quite adorable little creatures that look sort of like mini dinosaurs. Uh, we've got a Skitty, just there, adorable little cat. A Rowlet as well. Wishy Washy. Great with the names on that one. A Qfant. I do love these, the sort of elephant, elephant side of things. Now, the evolved form of this does look beastly as well. Another Rowlet, the same same artwork with a reverse hollow there, which is nice. And a Toxtricity, the, the evolved form of the Toxels. That was quite good to actually get both of them within one pack. So that's a good start. I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, right, so let's move on to the Eevee tin. Let's have a look. So I probably won't do any more tin videos after this because obviously I've got the whole thing and I bring out some new ones, but uh, we'll see from there. Obviously, it's mainly the Kanto side of things that I enjoy more. But uh, they're very well packaged, these Pokemon cards, from what I remember. Okay, so let's begin at what's in here. I'm going to guess there's a Dragonite coin and an artwork. But uh, this one seems a bit stiff. I think it might be a bit dented. There we go. Oh, and the coin has escaped. It's on a roll. All right. One Dragonite coin, as expected, and one artwork. Okay, and I was waiting when we would actually get one of these... Um, Vivid Voltage Packs with the giant Pikachu, because he does look adorable. Nice big chubby Pikachu, like they used to be in the old days, and a Darkness Ablaze as well. Now he looks quite horrific, so it's going from one age, one side of the scale to the other there. Adorable and chubby, and absolutely terrifying, haunt your dreams. Right, so let's start with the Vivid Voltage again. 
Okay, let's have a little look at what we get. Do to do. I feel like Alakazam's judging all my jokes in this one, so I do apologise. Right, so we've got another card here. There we go. Feel free to pause the video and grab that. And we're going to pop four cards on the back. Okay, so we're starting with a Fight Energy. We're going to a Nuzleaf. Lovely. An Opal as well. She's the Fairy Gym Leader, I believe. A Beer again. Now we've got her big sister over on the other side. Um, a Weedle. Adorable little one. A Talo as well. A Sandile. Oh, again, I do love this one. The Reptile Crocodile side of things is great. An Oshawott, which is lovely. A Pineco or Pineco. And Execute. We've had a few of these with different artworks now. And finally, an Ampharos V. Now that looks fantastic. The artwork looks great. Uh, the full art looks fantastic as well. It looks like we seem to get one full art card from every tin that we, we get. And then the other pack is just the normal hollow. But uh, that looks fantastic. That could definitely go in the collection. Let's be careful with that one. Right, so let's move on to the last pack of the video, which is the Darkness Ablaze pack. Right, so let's see what we get. So I'm really mangling this pack, so I do apologise. Right, so let's start with the code card. There we go for anybody that would like it. Again, if you've already had one, feel free to sort of leave it for other people so other, other people can have some as well. Uh, so it's going to be four in this video. Let's pop these to the front. Right, so we're starting with a Fire Energy. Moving on to a Laron as well. Always used to love them in the uh, series. Old PC. Ariados. Don't look if you're arachnophobic. Electrike there. He looks very, very mad. Uh, a Galarian Mr. Mine. Again, my personal opinion, I do prefer the older ones. Uh, I don't like quite like the Galarian side of stuff. Uh, Grimer as well. Okay, now a lot of you might not already know this. I didn't. I was only just made aware of it. But uh, Grimer actually going extinct due to their... Um, obviously, they feed on pollution and uh, everything they in sewers and stuff and the world is getting cleaner so they are becoming extinct in the pokemon world a clink okay stepping up a gear a skitty a delcatty lovely and finally a Storaptor as the final card that's just there definitely looks like an emo phase pidgeot um it's not just a phase mom but there you go uh, but that's everything from me there, guys. So we've got some nice cards there. I think the main cards we've got, which were decent, were these two, the Beer and the Ampharos V. Uh, they look fantastic. So we're going to definitely keep those in a nice protective film. Okay, but that's it from me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And yeah, toodles.